making some uh, Nantucket cranberry pie. Says to use almonds. I know about almonds. Uh, Nantucket or New England? No, we got we got moments, so that's what I used. It's walnuts, not almonds. I live in California, fine. Did put some pure almond ex extract in there a little bit too, but uh, got the almonds. two-thirds cup of sugar in this part and I got this mixture here melted butter and all the other ingredients that you read there so that's what I'm doing this is the uh, I'm an extract that I used but uh, yes yeah, so I'm gonna put that in there for about 45 minutes I have to add this to to that and we'll be fine man so love cranberries so it's about actually one package. It says two cups, heaping cups, one package of uh, cranberries. A stick of butter, flour, cup of sugar, almond extract. Pretty good. Um, I buttered the bottom of this bowl. stranger it's not spreading out too much but uh, we'll see see how it comes out hmm. it'd be a good day to do this gotta stack some wood that I split but uh, maybe I'll do that while this is uh, cooking gotta keep moving won't be long Maple sugar season be coming up. Yeah. I'm sure it'll flow and melt once this gets in there. I'm going to just spread it out. I think it does say spread it out a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. That's a nice mixture in here. Spread it out on the edges there. We'll see. Yep. Cranberries are traditional. I guess South Jersey and parts of Michigan have cranberries too. I don't know. They're around. I actually seen them in Pennsylvania hunting one time. But uh, that's what we're we doing, man. Toss this in the oven. Well, it'll be good, man. So, there you go. Let's put this in there. See how it goes. <clears throat> so, this was in the oven about uh, an hour. At the end of the recipe, it says uh, uh, an hour. Basically, the whole recipe takes 45 minutes to an hour. So, it's checked right now. So, now I just sprinkled some sugar on there at the end I'll put some confectionery but this is what it looks like right now after being in the oven for about an hour see that it's looking good man and even though it's walnuts the almond extract which is pure almond this is not imitation so it has that almond uh, smell to it but uh, there you go so I'm gonna put this back in the oven and uh, it's my first time making this. I, I love cranberries. I eat whole cranberries. I use it as jam left over. And, uh, I've uh, canned them before and uh, they're great. We use dried cranberries in the uh, in salads. I use them in my oatmeal too. So, but uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Yep. So I'm going to put this back in for another five minutes. I'm going to be set, man. Should be good, I'll get back to you. And uh, 
Maybe we'll try some when it comes out. Going to ask Mo Farabad. <clears throat> so it looks like this cran Nantucket cranberry pie is ready. Uh, got the sugar on there. Pull it out. What a ready whip uh, cream on there. Got my plate. Got my. Uh, picked this up at a tag sale a long time. This is an old cup, but they still make them. It's a Denby Cup from England in Derbyshire between Manchester, Birmingham, and directly below Leeds, kind of east of Manchester and uh, Birmingham. Still there as far as I know. You can get it over here. They still sell stuff over here in the United States and uh, over there too, as far as I know. Very nice, robust cup. Now I have a lot of bone china, but I'm, I'm, I'm using this one right now. So I'm gonna go in my wood stove and uh, get my tea. And actually this is the tea I'll be drinking. It's in a teapot. Right there. I'm gonna cut me a piece of this and uh, we're gonna see how it is, man. So, a sprinkle a little confectionery sugar on it. Looks interesting. Here it is, right here. like the middle right there yo oh, <laughs> oh. Mm. Show you what it looks like. I scoop some in the middle and put it on top. But uh, yeah, some good stuff there, man. So I'm gonna put a little, uh, little whipped cream on there. You could, I suppose, you could put a uh, hard sauce on there too. I would, I would assume it would be quite good. We usually make our own hard sauce, but. Uh, yeah. May have to be my lunch, I don't know. Mm. So I put a little whipped cream on there, let's try it out, man. Pretty good, it's not too hard to make either. Mm. So it does have that almond flavor, because it's a pure almond extract, but the nuts and the walnuts. Definitely more traditional for New England and most of the country. Mm. There you go, man. And while it's cooking, stack some wood. Got a little more to do. That's how I'm doing. It's 
So this is uh, an S. Mulfira. Peace, freedom, rise the sky. Take care. <clears throat> Delicious.